A lesson of priorities. Rescue intubation gets glory. Rescue oxygenation maintains patients alive and keeps you working. Less lawsuits, more patients alive to complain about what you didn't do for them. So, I'm just educating, make it simple for you. Regular rescue oxygenation is BVM with or without nasal pharyngeal airways and oral pharyngeal airways and the peep valve. Normal regular intubation is DL with a MAC blade and very rarely a Miller blade, depending on your scope of practice and technique and expertise. When you fail this part, BVM, before or after intubation, you have to think about rescue oxygenation. Rescue oxygenation is to maintain SATs above 90. What's the first thing we do? We bag. You fail bagging, there's always a master bagger who thinks they bag better than the other one, despite watching the SATs plummet. And guess what? We don't even prove our bagging correctly with Entitl. You should be connecting Entitl to this uh, BVM and proving you're ventilating something. But many don't. Then our rescue airways are usually an LMA-like device that looks like an LMA or something that looks like a King LT, something that looks like a combi tube, super glottic airway, right? You do this so you get the sats above 90 and negotiate, what do I do for rescue intubation? Make sense? You have no backup to your intubation skills, you may end up having the master rescue into, uh, ventilation oxygenation device called the Crike. Surgical airway. Again, extreme. When you can't bag the patient, you, you're, the only tube you're, the tool you're using to intubate is failing you. Think about it. Failing the Mac blade. It may happen. It may fail with your Miller blade because you hardly ever use it. Rescue intubation. You do not try a different device as the sats are plummeting down. You bag up the patient as best you can. If not, use a superglottic device. Once the sats are above 90, you have to decide. Does someone else intubate? Doesn't matter who. It shouldn't. Court of law that you play a game, anesthesia is better than you. There are probably nurse anesthetists that come down from anesthesia covering. It will be an anesthesia resident, an ICU resident, a pulmonologist. It will be a fellow ER doctor. Another intubator is going to try to intubate. Ideally, that intubator will have one of two options. Use the same device that you failed with because he has better technique, or use a new device. Make sense? Most places you can afford a bougie, $6. You spend more at Starbucks. And you fail that, you should have something, either a classic max, uh, standard geometric max uh, shape video laryngoscope, or a VL blade, a uh, classic hyperangulated blade glide scope. If you don't have it, you use other devices, a channel device, King Vision, some device that works for you. Doesn't name the name brand. Use the video intubation device, and if you fail, at the end, go back to rescue oxygenation. At the end, you fail that, the crick, aka crike, or tracheostomy. Know what you're capable of and maximize. Plan your failures, plan your successes. Understood? the way.